What's up, my YouTube family? It is your girl, Mary Moreau, and I am back with another video. This is motherfucking take three, okay? So, I'm not doing this over, okay? <laughs> like, this don't be, you know, my nerves, like, dog, I wish I, I need, like, an editor. Oh, you feel me? Because, dog. <laughs> but anyways, yes, I am in my car today. I'm doing some really good cleaning. I didn't clean my house and everything already. So, um, we just about to get straight into it. Today, I'm actually going to be talking about basically, like, three things, I guess. And um, the first thing is basically, like, what's going on today. Um, Ascending it to the, you know, 5D, this consciousness shift that's going on. Then I'm going to talk about out with the old and in with the new. Then I'm going to talk about um, self-doubt and removing, you know, basically mental blockages. So... Um, as y'all know, I'm happy to be back, you know what I'm saying? I have not been on YouTube, um, due to, you know, personal reasons. I've been taking care of myself, um, practicing self-care. I've been removing people out of my life, you feel me? And everything like that. Now I'm back and I'm better, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I wasn't down when I was gone, but you, you get what I'm saying? I had to take my little break. So, basically, I just want to say, um, the incension. So, um, for my people out there who is not woke or who just not hip, like, whatsoever, if you still lost right now, maybe you just in denial. Because what's going on in the world is just, like, us spiritual people, we are literally telling y'all on our channels. And all of these fulfilling prophecies are just coming out, like... It's literally, like, no hiding it. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no sugarcoating it. Like, no. Like, everything we saying is really coming to fruition. Like, I don't know if y'all noticing this, but whatever. So, basically, like, two days ago, or oh, whatever, I know y'all felt it because when I went on the internet, it was a lot of people um, basically saying, like, they were depressed and stuff like that. So, I go, um, okay. I'm not going to rush it. So, basically, I'm looking on the internet or whatever. And this is my first time being on the internet, you feel me, in a little minute or whatever. Because I took some days off. So, I go on there and I'm scrolling. I'm like, why everybody seems so sad? It's just weird. And I'm like, you know what, though? I had to go back and think like, no. Actually, when I was laying down. So, later that night when I was laying down, getting ready to lay down. It was this feeling in my chest, like, and no, bitch, I don't have no health problems, okay? So, it's this feeling in my chest, or whatever, and it's basically like, you know, like, when somebody say something really, really mean to you, and then you get this feeling in your chest, like, damn, you gonna say that to me? That's the feeling that I was getting, and it's like a very warm sensation, uh, feeling or whatever so i'm like why am i feeling like this like ain't nobody hurt my feelings i've been by myself dang near the whole day so like why am i feeling like this this car is ugly as dog shit <laughs> but yeah so i'm like why am i feeling like this so um on facebook i'm in this group it's a, a five a fifth dimensional group or whatever and they talk about like the knowledge they spread in there is truly amazing it's called 5d um reality something like that it's on facebook like y'all should really look at it because it, it goes really deep and people is really smart in this in this world so basically i'm going on there and then this other girl she explained like What's going on with me? She was, like, basically explaining the same way I was feeling. So, I'm like, let me look in these comments. Because I'm like, I'm feeling the same way, for real, for real. So, I look in the comments. And, basically, it was this dude was so smart. I kid you not. Like, he, the way he broke it down, it's like there's no other way you can explain it. And I'm hoping I can break it down to y'all in the way that he kind of explained it. So, basically, what he had said was, like, Okay, so, as we all know, um, it's spiritual warfare going on. You feel me? So, us as spiritual beings, we have certain soul ties, certain people that we may have had sex with in the past, certain people that we may have had really strong relationships and it didn't really end too well, but within time, we thought we healed from it. You know what I'm saying? But really, no. Like, I used to be... Um, 
I used to be one of those people to believe like time heals all wounds, but in all reality, no, time makes you just kind of forget about wounds. But they're that, that's like a fucking bullet hole, right? You got shot and then your skin grew over the bullet hole. I know that's a very crazy way to explain it, but just say like your skin grew over the bullet hole, but the bullet is still in your skin. You have to dissect that shit and get that bullet out and then sew it back up. So basically, yeah, so I hope that was a good example. So basically what people, you have to, like if you was feeling that way, if you was feeling the feeling in your stomach, like it was very, very warm, and then uh, you you had the feeling in your chest, like it was just really, really warm, and you it was just like a sensation that you couldn't really, you know what I'm saying? You didn't know what was going on. What was going on was that these people that you used to be attached to, now follow me. Basically, um, it's certain people, they, they are so far gone, they don't have their own energy source. It's people who rely on other people for their energy. You follow? So, basically, that's, that's basically you getting affected by somebody draining your energy. Like, have you ever um, thought about somebody and then they called you? And ain't you probably haven't spoke to this person in year a year, but you thought about them and then boom, you saw them at the store or they end up just finding your number and calling you. That's a soul tie. That's something I don't care if it's a friend or somebody you didn't have sex with. Somebody that was toxic in your life, but you removed them, but you didn't heal yourself from within. That's that's another thing. That's basically ties in with shadow work. Like basically, like that person is still energetically attached to you, even though they're not with you in a physical realm. So you have to energetically detach your per yourself from that person. So basically what the guy said was to do was basically go within and you got to ask yourself, like, why am I feeling like this? Who who made me feel this way? Who was causing me to feel this way? And the first person that pop up in your head, the name, and then I think the face, because that's how it happened for me. The name and the face popped up in my head. And so basically he said, what you have to do is like, it's an energetic cord between you and that person that is connected. You have to basically go within and imagine yourself cutting the cord. You feel me? And then when you do that, you basically say, like, you are no longer allowed in my life. You served your purpose in my life. I no longer want you here. You are blocked out of my energy, out of my aura, just out of my life. You feel me? And then you, you just basically let it go. You feel me? And you're going to feel the difference. Like, literally, the feeling is going to go away because they're not going to be able to feed off your energy anymore. Okay? And as crazy as that may sound, it's real as hell. Okay? So, it's either you take it. Or you don't, whatever you do, I know I had to say what, you know what I'm saying, I was supposed to say. So that's basically what's going on with that. And also, you know, we ascending too. So, you know, we are, we, we becoming really, really energy sensitive. Like, we becoming really energy sensitive. Me, I already been an empath. So it's just like, it's kind of nothing new to me, but it's like, kind of intense. But, you know what I'm saying? I know how to balance. So, another thing I want to talk about is out with the old and in with the new. So, I feel like right now, don't, this whole little time period is so important to let old cycles, old friends that, that didn't have your best interests, old ways of thinking, self-doubt. It's time to go within and let all of this shit go. All of it. Especially if you are on a spiritual journey, you cannot ascend. You feel me? You cannot really, you can, but only to a certain extent. You can't really elevate your consciousness and raise your vibration if you still got old things, old limited beliefs within your body. And like I said, for even me, like I had to go back and do my uh work. You feel me? Because I wasn't as, you know, cleansed as I thought I was, uh, you know, basically of old things. So basically for these, these, these last few days, I've been doing a uh, serious self care. You feel me? Um, taking taking herbal baths. You know what I'm saying? Uh, steaming myself. You feel me? Um, 
You know what I'm saying? Just taking care of myself. You feel me? So, um, uh, basically, by me doing that, I had came into a realization or whatever. Because, you know, me practicing self-love and stuff like that. So, I be taking steps back and I just be like, um, who is not having my best interest? You feel me? Stuff like that. So, basically, I went within. I had to just cut a few people off. And sometimes you don't have to put an explanation on why you don't want to deal with a person see people people think they have to go and fucking put a long ass paragraph on why they not talking to somebody you don't have to do that i mean if if you want them to know but if you just honestly trying to move on and you just done with all the bullshit block them and go your motherfucking way that's what i did you feel me i don't i feel like i'm grown i don't have to explain nothing to nobody you know you know how you are as a person and you know that you don't belong in my life so boom you're gone okay there's no more talking to me you feel me and that goes for with anybody you know what i'm saying so i didn't cut off everything every you know people all the people that i was supposed to cut off and stuff like that i unf i even unfollow people on uh social social media or whatever because just because of the stuff they post like everything that is not serving my best interest or bringing some type of positivity my way it gotta go you know what i'm saying because it's just simply no it's either heightening my vibration or lowering it and i can't have that you know what i'm saying you feel me and um another way of like going um out with the old and with the new so i guess i guess that all ties in with each other i guess i said it was three topics but really it's just basically two like just getting rid of old junk and um and another way you can do this is by like say if you cut these people off right but Say if you cut like a best friend off or something like that, right? And then they flood iron still in your house. You know what I'm saying? You have to get that energy up out. Say if you, you got an ex or something, then boom, they clothes still in your closet. Even though y'all don't talk no more, they shoes still there. Move it, throw it away, do what you want, get it out of your energy. Clean up your surroundings. You feel me? That That's your way of really removing somebody so they won't be spiritually connected with you anymore. You know what I'm saying? Even if you may go across their shoes, you walk past their shoes one time, one day, and then you don't feel like somebody's somebody is smoking some strong ass weed over here. Okay. Anyways, I don't even smoke weed. I just smell it. But basically, yeah. So say if you you see their stuff on a daily, you be like, but it don't affect me. I don't really care for it. No, it still affects your spirit, and you don't even know. You have to remove, once you remove somebody, remove everything. Pictures, text messages, nigga, phone calls, they number. You delete every motherfucking thing connected to that person. If they really wasn't supposed to be in your life. You know what I'm saying? If you really feel like you needed to remove them. You know what I'm saying? So, and another thing I want to say, like, um... And this basically, this is actually a good concept. Like, it um, basically ties in with manifestation and a lot of stuff like that. So, um, basically, what I was just dealing with is, like, self-doubt. Or what other might call them, what others might call them, um, self-disbelief, mental blockages stuff that this is how men let me tell you something if you've been trying to manifest something in your life and you don't know why it's not working this i i literally do this myself too like i walk it like i talk it i'm not telling y'all no stuff just just to be telling y'all no like i'm telling y'all because i want to help and i i like i said i've been through it so um basically okay this is how it works this is how you know that you're dealing with some self-doubt or you know something in that nature because basically okay let me start with my fucking eye but basically what the fuck it is is like um so okay just imagine why is they riding slow through here let me hurry up with this video because 
you know, I just can't really do these Detroit people. Like, they be really, like, getting me there. <laughs> but, okay, so, basically, say if you, okay, you be like, today I want to manifest in my reality. I want to attract a flower. I want to attract a loved one bringing me a flower. And then, boom, an hour or two later, you get that flower. Or maybe a few hours later, you get that flower. See, um, basically, okay, before I get into that, I want to say, like, okay, so say you got the motherfucking flower or whatever, and you like, oh, my God, this actually manifested, stuff like that. And then, boom, say if you go the next day, you be like, okay, I want to manifest myself winning the lottery you feel me um and you you know you do that little work or whatever you do that little inner work stuff like that so and then say if you go play the lottery then boom you don't win this happens because we have subconscious disbelief in ourselves you feel me and most of them resolves around money revolves around money and basically what you have to do is like you have to go within like you basically have to basically meditate ask yourself what is blocking me because you can say you believe that you can uh manifest winning the lottery all day you can say like oh i believe it i believe it but you really you know inside you really don't believe you know what I'm saying? And you're trying to, but you know inside that you really kind of don't. Like, you you feel me? Like, you be thinking of, wait, like, what numbers I'm going to pick? What if I don't pick the numbers? That's called mental blockages. So, basically, what you do is you go, you remove the mental blockages by going and follow what I'm saying. You remove them by going in and meditating. You feel me? Asking yourself, why do I feel this way? You feel me? Why do why do I feel like I can't accomplish certain things? I know that I create my own reality. I know that I am a spiritual being having a human experience experience. You feel me? So why can I attract these things to me? And basically the answers are gonna pop up. And sometimes like Sometimes it can be something like, oh, but I grew up in poverty. But you might say to yourself, like, I grew up in poverty. So, you know, money is not a common thing of, you know, about where I'm from and, you know, the things I'm used to seeing. So, therefore, it's not easy for me to just visualize it that way. And then when you realize that, when you, and it's about being honest with yourself. When you be honest with yourself and you just be like, dang, okay, this is why I feel this way. So, this is the part where I really want y'all to listen. So, basically, and uh, shout out to Gavin. Because this was one of my spiritual teachers. I listened to him, like, last year or whatever. And um, me, it, it's, it's like it really, it really, really do help. So, basically, when you come to this realization, like, okay, this is the reason that I'm not manifesting this certain thing in my life. Basically, um talk about the topic again when you you know out of the meditative mode talk about it again boom i want to manifest myself winning the lottery today right you didn't remove the mental blockage yet so it's still somewhere there in your body mental blockages are just basically energy blockages you feel me that's blocking your manifestation so go within your body like you know you know when um um when you say something like, I don't want to use no stupid example. When you just lied about something, right? And you get that feeling. It triggers you because you know you just lied. Y'all all know what the fuck I'm talking about. So, that you know, like when they do the lie detector test, that's how they, you know, um, that's how they basically know if you're lying because your heart start beating faster. You get what I'm saying? So, basically, when you say it to yourself, Basically, pay attention to your body. How is your body responding when you tell yourself, boom, I'm about to win the lottery today? And then, like, you get that little thought, like, dang, I'm probably really not going to win the lottery, but I'm going to just still tell myself like this. Go within your body when you say this and feel where it's coming from. 
Is it in your chest? Do you feel that warm sensation in your chest? Do you feel the warm sensation in your stomach? Do you feel it in your throat? Do your throat get choked up? So you find that part. And that's why I said shout out Ga- shout out to Gavin because this is very a very smart technique and it works like I kid you not so you basically locate that spot say it's in your chest right so you basically touch it and you basically focus on that energy in the way it makes you feel and then you just saying to yourself repeatedly I love you I'm sorry please forgive me I love you I'm sorry please forgive me because you're saying basically I love myself I'm sorry for thinking this way I'm sorry for not having an open mind and knowing that I can achieve anything that I want to achieve you're going within you basically apologizing to yourself so what you're going to feel is you're going to feel that energy basically contracting like like you're going to feel it shrinking you're going to feel the energy shrinking. And that's how you know when you're getting rid of, rid of a mental block, baby. That's how you know when you're getting rid of that mental block. So you keep going. You're going to feel sensations. You're going to get distracted, distracted. But you keep going. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. You keep saying this until you don't feel it no more. And let me tell you, try to go back. After you did that inner work, I just showed y'all a whole example of inner work. After you do that inner work, go back and try to win the lottery. And try to win the lottery. Watch how fast they happen for you, my nigga. Watch. Okay, okay, okay. We be on fire up in here, period. Because, nigga, what? I'm telling you, like I motherfucking said, if you follow the instructions, you will prosper. There's no way you can't. All right? All right? All right? So y'all better get on your motherfucking shit out here. You feel me? It's time to motherfucking get this shit. Y'all got it. You feel me? Keep going. Keep your head up. You feel me? Keep your head up. Keep your bread up. You feel me? And um, before I wrap it up, yeah, I just want to say, like, I hope y'all just really took that information. I do want to say I am coming out with more music or whatever. I've been, you know, these last few days, I had time to, you know, go within or whatever. So make sure when I drop it, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all support. I got, I've been getting more subscribers. I thank you to, I thank everybody who basically have been um, supporting me along the way. You feel me? Like a little support is just, you know what I'm saying? I just appreciate everything. You feel me? I'm just a loving person. So, um, y'all, I hope y'all got what, I, what the hell I had to say. I did what I had to do. <laughs> Say what I had to motherfucking say. I hope y'all motherfuckers having a nice motherfucking day. Um, yeah. Memoro signing out. <laughs>